Since you're as dumb as a donkey, you might as well ride you like one. Oh, no! My God! Oh! Spoiled kid shames mother. What happens next is crazy. He's riding her like a cowboy. This is about to get wild. Listen up, you stupid slave. I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I can. And it's fun. By the way, how are you and Maria getting along? Oh, yeah, just fine. Since you're as dumb as a donkey, you might as well ride you like one. Oh, no! My God! Oh! This about to be... Bruh! Bruh, starting off with stupid slave is what we... As soon as he said, since you're a stupid slave, I knew it was going to be the episode of a lifetime, bro. Rode her like a donk, bro. Bro, what are we What are we about to do, bro? This is about to be crazy. Guys, we are officially, we are officially off of YouTube. We have officially entered the hub. So please, please get yourselves ready. Please get yourself ready because the mom is about to get stuck in the washing machine. And pretty much you know how, what happens after that. So let's go. All right, son, I know you've been busy with school and that anti-bullying charity you've been working with. So I hired a house cleaner to uh, tidy up after things. That way you can focus on your work. Thanks, Dad. I mean, not like that I don't like doing dishes, but I'll think I'll let the housekeeper have some fun. You deserve it. You've shown that you're a great kid. You've been getting great grades and uh, working really hard. Learned it from you, Dad. Uh -huh. Here oh, come. I think that's her. Let me get it. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi, Mr. Bentley. How are you doing? Great. It's good to see Why you. Why does the title say Shame's mother when it's the housekeeper? Just call me Tim. Come on in. Thank you. Oh, hi. Hi. Maria? This is my son, Julian. Hi, Maria. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Julian. All right, boy. Juli Julian well, about to go. I've got a big meeting with investors. About to go I'm demon not time, bro. By any means. Sell, text, email, anything. Radio silence. Also, Maria, by the way, this room right here is my home office. I have a lot of important papers in there for a presentation next week, so you can skip that room, okay? All got right. it, Mr. Bentley. Great. Oh. And by the way, I left money for you in the kitchen drawer. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Bentley. I really appreciate it. Wow. No problem. And just call me Tim. Wow, okay, what a nice, gotta, gotta. what a nice dad. What? A, look at the son. Look at the son. He's waiting. He's like, yo. As soon as that man walks out of this door, Maria, you bending over this counter right here. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop, guys. We're still on YouTube. Relax. Relax, guys. Like, I know what you're thinking is going to happen, but relax. Relax. Stop. Would you stop with the cleaner, bro? Stop. Stop with the cleaner, bro. Oh, let me get that for you, Mr. Bentley. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Julian, help? Of course. Are you okay? What happened? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. What happened? It's just a little back pain, but it's not going to stop me from doing a good job cleaning. Well, just be careful. If you start to feel too much pain, Julian can help you out. Of course. I'll make sure I take really good care of Maria. Thank you so much, Julian. I can tell I'm in really good hands with you. But That's please, what you Mr. Think? Bentley, don't be That's late. That's what to you work think, bro? Oh, yeah. Don't be late to work just because of Maria. All right. Well, I can tell you guys are getting huh? along really well. So I'll get moving, all right? Huh? But, uh, see you later, son. Bro, Anthony, I'm feeling the same way, bro. Yeah. Um, can I have some money for that new video game that just came out? Sure. How much do you need? Um, 60 bucks. Wow, just like that? Dad, no, not that much. I know. But Maria came here last minute, and we always like to bless people who are less fortunate than ourselves. So when she's done, give her a hundred dollar tip. I will. Wow. I like this guy. This dad is great, bro. This is great. This dad is a great guy. So why did he raise a demon? Look at him! He looks like, he looks like he's from, you know what scary movie I'm talking about. All right, champ. See you later. See ya.
God, this is a crazy, this is a crazy hub plot right now, bro. This is the craziest hub plot we've ever caught, bro. Oh my God. Oh my, my boy got a booger in his nose. You know he going crazy. He's about to, oh. <laughs> He don't care. He don't care. He don't care. Oh my. He just left. Huh? Listen up, you stupid slave. I'm gonna lay down some ground rules. First ground rule, you should address me as Master Julian. Master Julian is crazy. That's you, you, you not built like that, bro. This is wild. Look, the thing is, the thing, look, this is no, it is, Amar, it is. You should be blessed to be in my presence, you stupid peasant. Second ground rule is if I ask for something, you better bring it to me in two minutes. Or. <laughs> bro, who does this guy think he is? I'll just give you those two for now. Because you look a bit slow. Do you think you're dumb? Brain can retain that information. Hello, Earth to Maria. Do you think your dumb brain can retain that information? Yes, Julian. Oh! When you address me, you address me as a superior human being. That I am. Try again. I'm sorry, Master Julian. Maria, bro, Maria, if you don't sit on this guy, bro, you are twice the size of him. You are thicker than a snicker compared to him, bro. Sit on him. Sit on him. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I can. And it's fun. I've already got everybody fooled into me being a good person. With all this stupid charity crap. Even my dad believes it. But anyways, you're annoying me with all these stupid questions. Now get out of my living room so I can play video games. And plus, you have a pretty big mess to clean up in the kitchen. Where, Master Julian? I, I don't see it. Oh yeah, that's right. Almost forgot. <laughs> Y'all need to relax in the chat, bro. Man is over here talking about who else bricked up. Like, what are you on, bro? What, what are you on right now, bro? Like, what? You're bugging, like, relax, bro. No, please, Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Clean it up before I rip this money apart. No, no, please, please. I need that money for my son's cat. Bruh. That's crazy. Like, nah. Like, if any, if any child, if any, if any child, bro. No, 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 hold on, chat. Hold on, hold on. Y'all think this is dumb. You might think this is dumb, but this has actually happened. What you're seeing now is the work of a spoiled kid. <laughs> According to multiple sources, Look at a this. 12 year old boy destroyed their entire house, <laughs> smashing every item. Look at this! Look at this! Demolishing every room, all because his mother was said to have taken, taken away his, his phone! phone. It really sucks that I have to make a video to prove that this damage that was done to my life. She's black? Is real. What has this generation? The mom is black? I never knew the mom was black. Did you let him get away with that? Now clean it up before I rip this money apart. No, no, please, please. I need that money for my son's cancer treatment. I'll do it right away, Master Julian. 
good slave. Now you're getting the hang of it. Now if you don't want your cancer-filled son to die, you wow. better get cleaning. Wow. Chop, chop. Okay, okay, right away. This is Dr. Lee. Nah, bro, nah. This, this person, Generational Hope, this team at Generational Hope, knows how to drag it to be the worst situation ever. Literally, they know how to make the worst situations ever. Like, worse than a Tyler Perry movie, bro. Die, die, you stupid idiot. Ah, take that. <laughs> you suck. Master Julie, can I please use the restroom for five minutes? Hold on, guys. My dad got me this stupid slave that doesn't even know how simple things work. I have to Bruh. train. Like, seriously. What do you want? I'm so sorry to bother you, but can I please use the restroom for five minutes? Are you serious? You haven't even finished cleaning the kitchen. Plus, you still have this mess to clean up. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. That's I'll crazy. clean that up now for your stupid little cancer kid. That's crazy. That's and he keeps throwing the cancer kid. In. That's crazy. This is this is wild, bro. <laughs> they the plots in this are are demonic, demonic, bro. It, this is Darman 10x. Like, there's no reason for the plots to be this demonic. Like, no reason, bruh. I'm back. Hey, Dad. How'd the meeting go? It went amazing. I closed another $3 million deal. Hey! Things are good, and we are blessed. I'm gonna stop by and get dinner for us on the way home to celebrate. Oh, that's great news, Dad. Um, what time will you be home? Probably in a few hours. Uh, traffic is pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna stop by Tanaka Sushi to get us dinner. Hey, by the way, how are you and Maria getting along? Oh, yeah, just fine. Um, hey, can you put Maria on the phone? I wanna see what she wants to order. Uh, yeah, so she's actually busy cleaning up some stuff right now, but I'm sure whatever you get her is fine. Okay, sounds good. See you soon, son. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bruh. One hour later, I guess we have though. a little bit more time to have some fun before Dad gets home. Why are you being a demon? Since you're as dumb as a donkey, you might as well bite you <gasps> like one. Oh, no! 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 Let's go. He was about to slap her booty. That's why I opened my mouth. Y'all saw him. He thought about it. He literally thought about slapping her booty, bro. He was this close. Let me replay it back so you can catch it. Let me replay it back because he was really about to do it. But then he forgot he was on the wrong website. You feel me? He was really like, what? Let me show you. Let me show you, bro. Let me show you because he was about to do it. Ready? So you're as dumb Set. as a donkey. Might Go. Like Go. Oh, no! One, two, three, four. You saw where his hand is going? You sit look where his hand is going. He was really about to. He was really about to. He was like, I'm about to change this whole scenario, Maria. You think we still on YouTube? You think this is generational hope? No, baby. This is generational hub. We about to get freaky in here, Maria. Hmm? But, but, well, we didn't, guys. Well, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Oh, poor little donkey. You must be thirsty. Let me get you some water. You better throw some water on her, bro. <laughs> Julian! What's going on? Uh, nothing. She just slipped and fell. Uh, why are you here so early? The restaurant was closed, so I just came home. Are those my cheese puffs? Yeah, she just went crazy. Like, I don't know. Maria, are you okay? Maria, tell the yeah. truth right now, bruh. It's just my back. 
Maria, please tell me what happened. Get to the couch. Maria. Maria, bro. Maria, if you don't snitch on this man, bro. Maria, if you don't get this man killed right now, bro. I, Maria, bro. Mar I swear to God, Maria does something dumb. Something tells me she's going to do something stupid. I don't know why. I don't know why, bro. I don't know why. Either she's going to do something real dumb or this going to turn into a threesome. I don't know. But we'll have to figure it out right now. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Have a seat. Okay, Julian. Now tell me what happened. She started going crazy and like tearing the place up. And I think she stole something from your office. Oh, I promise he's lying, Mr. Bentley. He's lying. Is that true, Julian? Dad, come on. Are you going to believe this stranger or your own son? Maria. I thought I could trust oh, you. Oh, please. You're going to go to jail for a long time. <gasps> oh, Mr. Bentley, please. please. I need this stuff for my son's cancer treatment. Maria, enough. I'm going to go check the cameras to see what you stole now. Oh! Which cameras? Got him! I installed cameras in the house, just in case anything like this ever happened. Got him! He's locked up. They won't let him out. They won't let him out, no. They won't let him out. It's a wrap! No, no, Dad, don't check it. We could just let her go. That's what I love about you, son. You're so forgiving. But I can't let this go. People need to suffer consequences for their actions. No, yes, Dad. They do. Yes, they do. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I can. I've already got everybody fooled into me being a good person. With all the stupid charity crap. Even my dad believes it. Got Julian him. Francis Bentley. I can't believe you'd do such a thing and blame it on Maria. <laughs> now the acting right here is wild. The, the, the acting right here is so trash. The, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. The, the acting, the whole thing is not the best. But the acting right here is just god awful. Like, just god awful. Like, what? Like, what? Hold on, bro. Like, what? Stupid charity crap. Even my dad, with all the stupid charity crap, even my dad believes it. Julian Francis Bentley. I can't believe you'd do such a thing and blame it on Maria. What? Dad, she's just a poor housekeeper. And you think that gives you the right to treat her so badly? She is a human being who deserves your respect. Your grandmother was a housekeeper. She paid for my school. She provided for our family. I am here because of what your grandmother did. Oh yeah. And you do this? You do to this? Her? Every job deserves respect. No matter how big or how small. Tell him. I thought you would know that with all of your anti-bullying charity work. But it's been capped. But I guess it was all just an action. Just cap. Room. Now. Go. <laughs> Maria. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. I didn't know my son was like that. Don't worry about the kitchen. Just take care of yourself, okay? It's okay, Mr. Bentley. I can finish cleaning the kitchen. I really need the money for my son's cancer treatment. I think I could do it. <laughs> Please, Maria. Don't move. I'm gonna take care of your son's cancer treatment. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna cover everything. Oh my god. Thank you. So much. W, Dad. Thank you. No need to thank me. I'm able to do it, so I'm happy. Tim ended up paying for all of Maria's medical bills and even covered her son's cancer treatment, which ended up working and giving her son's health back. Tim kept Maria as a housekeeper and paid her very well just to make sure she would never struggle again. Tim, however, wanted to make sure that yeah. his son learned clean how up, to boy. All of that. And also All of that. Of hard work. You tried to smash the he babysitter? His son Julian to do housekeeping work for Maria. Yeah. For an entire six yeah. Months, and all of it for free. Yeah. Actually, this taught Julian the value of hard work and respecting others now that he had spent all oh, they became friends. In her shoes.
Julian and Maria eventually became friends during the months that he did the work for her. After they called him, after he called her a slave, that was crazy. I don't know if I could ever be friends with you again if you called me a slave. Everyone deserves respect, no matter how big or small you might think their job is. Everyone has a role to play in this world. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Share, share this valuable. Fire! I'm a sub up. I'm a sub up. You know what? I'm subbing up, bruh.